Welcome to Ready Set RC, and today we have the FSR Model GT and the ZD Racing EX07. One of the viewers had asked if I could just do a quick comparison between the two. I'm gonna keep it strictly to a comparison between the two cars. I'm not gonna give any opinions which one I like more than the other. Uh, at this point, I've put one pack through this car and I've put several packs through this car. I've owned this car for quite some time now and I enjoy it. It's, 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 it's a very fun street basher. If you're looking for power sliding and all the other stuff, this car just does it very easily. But that's not what this video is about. I'm gonna show you guys the comparisons between the two, what each one comes with, and how their chassis are laid out. So real quickly, this is what the EX07 comes with. It's a branded with ZD Racing. This also allows you to control the lights remotely on off switch. I mean, I've done a video on this car already, so I'm not really gonna talk each step through it. But it's a four channel controller and it allows you to do the electronic brake and it does not have a gyro functionality to this car. This is the controller for the Model GT. Gyro functionality on this, also another four channel controller. Does not control the lights from this. There's no functionality to control there, but you are able to set the gyro. Every other trim that you're looking for basically on this controller, just like the EX07. As for the shells, both of them, not licensed bodies, but you guys can kind of tell exactly what they are. This, as I said, has multiple lights functionalities on it, front and rear. This car also has lights on it, not controllable remotely, front and rear. The rears do not stay on. They are only brake lights, fronts, turn signals, all that other, all that other jazz comes along with it. Body clips tethered to the car, no body clips tethered to the EX07. All of the decals come affixed on this. Decals you have to put on yourself with the EX07. Let's take the shells off, let you guys see what they look like underneath. The tires on the EX07 are a little bit taller. Shocks, the shock bodies are about the same size shock bodies. Both are oil filled, screw down, adjustable. We're looking at pillow ball suspensions on the Model GT. Multiple adjustments for the shocks on both cars, sway bars on both cars. Uh, I did swap out my servo on the EX07. It was downright horrible. It was way too slow. I had to swap that out. Running the stock Surpass system still in the EX07. Both of them have an e-brake or a mechanical brake. About a center mounted differential. But what you'll notice on the EX07, rather than one long, dog bone going to the rear. It is actually broken up into two separate sections. There's, there are two dog bones leading back to the rear differential. As for the hinge, the hinge pin captures on the EX07, those are all aluminum versus composite on the Model GT. We have camber and tow adjustments for both cars in the front and only camber adjustments in the rear for both cars. Aluminum chassis down the center for both cars. Both cars are 6S capable. Both cars run a CVD type system in the front with dog bones in the rear. Both cars have bearings throughout. Both cars run a front to rear brace system on there. The one thing that I see on the Model GT, there are composite braces on the front and also on the rear on the Model GT. The EX07 does not come with that type of bracing. Composite hubs in the front for both cars, but in the rear, the EX7 has aluminum hubs for the rear. Both cars sport anodized bits throughout the car. The Model GT has a composite side skirts on it and underneath, whereas the EX07 has like a, feels like a thick Lexan or plastic as the side skirts. And there are no protections for the chassis underneath on the EX07. Both cars sport a diffuser coming off the rear, but for the Model GT, it is a composite versus the EX07. It is some form of Lexan or thick plastic. But that's it. Really wanted to keep it nice and short between the two cars. Didn't really want to go into my thoughts or comparisons to the point of, you know, which one's better or anything like that. Uh, really just wanted to make a quick video for someone that it requested for the two cars. But look for more videos on these two cars. I got something planned, but we're going to leave it here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and TikTok for the latest updates to the channel. This is Ready Set RC, signing out. Thanks again, guys.